what's up? Sorry, hey, what's going on? Oh shit, one second here. Hey, you good? Oh fuck. There we go. That's all right. Um, yeah, sir X. Uh, good evening. I uh, I did see your video earlier today. Yeah, uh, it, it was very compelling, and you made a lot of good points. And, and I agree with you. You know, and enough is enough. Um, right. There were some things that I didn't necessarily agree with. Um, you know, as far as being the past being the past, uh, I can accept that. Um, yeah. yeah um, however, though, you're saying that like the Jamie stuff was all last year. I mean, I think you said it a few days ago, I mean, a handful of days ago before that. You know? yeah. yeah, well, I gotta say, you know, the point being, though, man, like when I said that shit, I was basically, you know, going off of like basically all the stuff you had done to me. And like the whole point I was trying to make. Of the video, like I said, I'm not coming at you sideways. I'm not coming at you wrong or anything like that. But like, what I'm saying is, like, the reason why I started doing all this is like when you. It's basically, in a sense, a repeat of the whole candle thing. You know, you basically came at me. I defended myself, and it just became this endless cycle. And it just got to the point where it's like, dude, like. Yeah, what I did was wrong, but also in the same respect, like, if you can't let go of the past, how are you ever going to move forward and be able to, you know, do anything with your life? Well, I hear you. I hear you. I do often say that the past is the best predictor of the future. Yeah, and that, and, that, and that is true, and sometimes that is true, and, you know, and in most cases it is. You know, and it's been true for myself, for you, and many others even. But, you know, like I said, you know, this is 2021, you know, brand new year. I'm trying to do, you know, my thing. I'm trying to make a living doing what I enjoy, you know, and stuff like that. I just feel like, you know, if we just let all this crap go and we just go our separate ways, like, you know, we can, you know, move on from all this and, you know, close all the nonsense. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I would definitely be hey, man, open. Sorry. Well, yes, well, sorry, Rex, please. You know, I'm hoping, um, you know, we can actually have a conversation for once where you don't talk over me or start screaming. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, thank you. I mean, I, I agree that that's probably best for the both of us so we can move on. But in order to do that, I, I kind of need an understanding, um, you know, just so I have a sense of finality and closure. Oh wow! Um, like, what's the? What yeah, there's, the a, for? there's a lot that I, I don't necessarily um, understand, and if, if you can in, admit this, that's that would be okay. What is, a, what is it that you're getting at? Like, is it? Oh, when, sorry, actually, I, I got. <laughs> sorry, actually, got. You know, I was. I, I keep trying to to speak here. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll tell you. Um. Yeah. I I mean, I think the initial reason why you made these accusations and, and first and foremost, you know, that's false, right? Sorry, Axe, you know that, I mean, I hadn't seen Jamie yeah. for months prior. Okay. Yeah, you know, and like I said, like the whole reason why I came to you like I did initially and I even explained this to you in private around, you know, a couple of people that we're good friends with, that the initial reason why I came to you like I did was because at that time there were a lot of videos from people like CPN and all these other people they were making very valid points on, but, uh, yeah, you but sorry, there, can, there can't possibly be any actual evidence because I hadn't seen her in months. Right, but also you gotta understand, you know where I was coming from too. Though but, I'm being fed all this information. Okay, okay, so what evidence is there? Like literally, there was people saying that. Oh, that that's not evidence. Know, that, that's not. That's not know. evidence. That's that's gossip. What evidence is there? Like I said, I didn't know that there wasn't any at that time. Like you got to really put yourself in that position at that point in time. When I was in that position, I didn't know that none of that was true. I can't yeah. just. But what when, evidence? What evidence is there? All right. So here's the thing, Marty. When I first found out about it, I didn't know what was going on. Like, cause I just found out literally 
about a half hour before all that stuff started going down. I literally just found out. I was trying to, you know, figure out, like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Like, yeah, I just heard that James has what's going on. I'm over here trying to find all this out. And here comes all this evidence of, you know, obviously people attack. What evidence, though, sir? That's what evidence? There was, like, dude, I don't even remember. Like, any, was, any shred of evidence that you remember? Like, I know that a lot of the videos, like, you know, the ones that CPN had made and all these other people that I will admit in some ways did attack Jamie, but they also did attack you at the same time. And they did say that, you know, like, you were a drug addict and that you had done this. And, and I will admit Jamie was, you know, a recovering drug addict. I will admit that. Yeah, we didn't do drugs together. I hadn't seen her in months, Cyrax. I didn't even know she was and doing see, that. And see, I didn't know that until you told me after the fact. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I was basically being shown all this different stuff. And when you, you also got to look at it this way, too. When you're shown so much of something, you're liable to believe it. Kind well, of like when but, I was but, but Cyrax, but Cyrax there, you know, there, there is no evidence that I had seen her. In fact, if you watch like her live streams, She'll say, I haven't seen Marty. You know, uh, we haven't seen each other. She will refer right. to and see, and, and see, I was unaware of that. But you also kind of got to put it in the perspective. And, like, I'll be straight up honest, dude. All this that happened is, in a sense, of basically a repeat of the candle situation and. You know how people, yeah. well, you remember how people called me a murderer. Right? Well, yeah, and sorry, when I found out, I'm sorry, when I found out you were innocent, I right. rushed to your defense. Right, but also there were a few people that, you know, Candle had gone to because she had sat there and made all these videos, gotten all these people to, you know, take up for her and this and that. And ultimately, I did wind up losing some big supporters over that. And I tried telling these people, yo, like, I had nothing to do with that. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on? Because I don't know. Like, I'm fucking dead in the water, lost here, not knowing what the is going on, why I'm being attacked. And literally, matter of fact, it was a while ago, um, Juggle972 even made a video about it. There were so many people coming to him saying that I did this thing that I didn't do, and ultimately, he wound up believing it. Now, you take that same thing, and you apply it to the Jamie situation, I was in that position that he was in. I right. had all these different people saying all this stuff, making all these videos to where it's like, how can you ignore it? Like, when there's so much of something being yeah. thrown your way, but sorry, I keep no. saying so much being thrown your way. What was thrown your way? What what Literally, what, like, what reasons do you have to believe that I did this? Honestly, dude, and like I like I don't judge or anything like that, sorry. but just based off of you know the stuff that you know, and even Jamie has brought this up a time or two. Like I'm not trying to be you know sure you know rude or anything like that. I'm not trying to be you know a dick, but like if you take a look back at some of the live streams. Like Jamie spoke on the whole thing with um what was it like the whole thing of where you got drug in the court for well, uh, well, like, me, you got drug in the court for killing well, sure. let me explain that to you. Let me explain that to you. I wasn't drug in the court. All right. I was never charged, I was never arrested. Right, but like, you see what I'm going from though. I'm sorry. Like, okay, all right. Yeah, so I mean essentially I guess you feel justified in continuing to say this because it's been an ongoing thing, Cyrax. It's like every day, and you know it's false. I would hate to have to mute you because, you know, I'd love to have a conversation with you where we can exchange and that, our, our ideas and feelings. Yo, um, tell me, what up? Okay. Um, yeah, go on, go on, Cyrax. So what, what, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Well, like I was saying, dude, you know, I'm not here to, you know, and like I even told, you know, my my own people this stuff on my channel. I filed told them I was like, you know, like I don't want any trouble for the guy, you know. I just want to put all this to rest, you know. I mean, I've, I've been, you know, like, yeah, what happened, you know, happened, 
All right, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, actually, like, okay, I, I'm giving you like a, a few more warnings. I would hate to have to mute you here because I, I just want to be able to express myself. Uh, I feel the reason that you first started accusing me, and maybe I'm off base here, was you felt it would be a way to get out of the race with Tyler. That I can honestly say you are definitely way, way, way off base with. Okay. I was trying to give yeah, you and, and granted and granted, yeah, like I did say what I said and whatnot, but you also gotta understand, dude. Like, you know, and I understand why, you know, you did what you did, and I understand why you came at me. Like I totally get it. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you keep on going down this path, you're just gonna be in that endless cycle, and it might not just be with me eventually. Okay. And uh, what, path, what path are you referring to? The fact that you keep on going down this path of, you know, wanting revenge on this person mm -hmm. and do this to get revenge. And it's like, it comes to a point to where, like, when is enough enough, dude? Like, where is there, like, oh, where oh, is okay. there? All right, sorry. So you asked the question and I'm going to respond to you. When is enough enough? I haven't threatened to be, kick your teeth on your throat. I haven't threatened to murder you. I haven't threatened to beat you up. I have not necessarily – I haven't even defamed you, Sardax, because everything I say about you is 100% true, uh, and you can respond here. Go ahead. I know it's killing you. All right. So first off, um, in a sense, you kind of did in a way when you were talking about like the one day when we were on Discord. And I still have the messages from that, but out of respect for you and everybody yeah, else. You can, you can say them. You can refer to them. I, yeah, I, like, I, you know, like I said, I'm not going to, like, you know, like actually share them or anything. You know, sure you want to, so that's, I have no shame. So like, you know, but, you know, like I said, you know, there were times where, you know, I'll admit we both kind of got it heated and everything kind of, you know, I will admit. Yeah, so you said more to me about – Five days out of the past seven days. Well, dude, you got to understand, dude, especially after, and like I said, I'm not trying to go you sideways here, but you got to understand, dude, when, and, and I do have evidence of this on my channel of you admitting this, and everybody knows this, when you sat there and admitted to sending me that rope and telling well, me to hang myself, well, hang on. You sat right there and told me to hang myself in front of millions of people, dude. Like, that was a whole new low even for you. Like, I'll be straight up honest. I wouldn't even do that to you. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I wasn't the one who sent you the rope. You know who I sent a cash app to to buy the rope? I, I, I think this has been relayed to you. Candle Smith. But why would she do that? Sorry, Jack, she's always had it in for you. But why, though? Like, I've never done anything to her. Like, you really want to know the truth about the whole candle thing? Like, let me explain that. Because I know that this kind of ties into everything. Like, let me explain that to you. Okay. The day that um, I got with her, like, everything was good. You know, and I had initially been introduced to her through a friend of ours, well, who was a mutual friend of hers and whatnot, but is no longer friends with her. Um, I'd gotten introduced to her through that person. Me and her ended up together and whatnot. And things were going good. You know, things were going fairly well. And then she started acting out of the norm. And I knew, you know, I knew she. Did you ever call her landlord? Did you ever call her landlord? Do what? Did you ever call her landlord? No, I did not. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen a Facebook video where you've said that you told no, me. No, 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 no. What happened was the day that we had split up, it was the, you, the, the initial reason why we split up was so stupid, honestly. Like, it really was. Well, I, had reminded her, I had reminded her to take her meds that morning because I knew that she had, you know, meds that she had to take. And I was being nice. I was like, yo, like, you know, did you take your meds? Yada, yada, yada. She sure. started and she started flipping out on me for no reason. Yeah, overall, and I was like, overall, yeah, sorry, so overall, overall, you know, it's it's kind of irrelevant. You know, I'm sure you have a bad blood with her. Right, but like, but, like, the whole thing is, dude, like, it's very similar to that situation. Like, basically what she did was 
the minute that she had left and basically told me we were done, I had gone about my business. Sorry, and I, I, the, I had actually gone hold on. I had actually gone on to sure. that uh, I had actually gone on to do a Facebook live stream hanging out with my friends and whatnot. And literally I get done with that and like legit an hour later I see her making a video attacking me out of nowhere. And from there, it was literally like, you know, like those accusations. Yeah, yeah. You know, sorry, uh, you know, as far as Kendall, your guys' issues are your guys' issues. Right, uh, but still, like, when, the one thing that I know everybody's wanting to know as well, and not just me, why is it that you're associating with a known criminal like Kendall? Like, you're obviously better than that. Well, sorry, why, why associate with a criminal? Well, sorry, Rex, two, I'm gonna, I have two responses to this, and I'm going to meet you so you don't over me. Um, one, as you said, some laws are meant to be broken. All revolutionaries have to be controversial. Um, and two, technically, you're a criminal as well. All right. One, I'm not a criminal in any way, shape, or form. Two, what I said, oh, that was sorry, Rex. Don't, don't even bring sorry. that sorry, Marty, I know where you're going with that. Let's stay I'm on not even bring up, not even, I'm, gonna, Dude, I'm not even going to bring that I up. Came here, I came here uh, to squash the shit. Let's focus on that, man. Like I said, you you, ran, like, sorry, I, I have to meet you here. You asked me a question about Candle. Why would I associate with her? And I answered. Now you can respond, please. Thank you. Well, like I said, dude, you know, I'm not here to, you know, bring up a little side shit, dude. I'm here to, like I said, Squash and go our separate ways. And like I told you in that video, man, and I am going to leave it at this, you know, and like I said, after this, I am <laughs> going to hold on. I, after what I say, after what I say, what I'm saying, I am going to leave and I, I am going to sit to my word, though. I am throwing my hands up. I am walking away. Whatever you do, you know, that's on you. I'm not going to okay. sit there and judge you i'm not gonna sit there and have my people come at you like you've done me in the past like i said what you do is what you do i'm done with right, here's, 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 so, something, here's something i'm gonna do it because you, you seem to be incapable of listening and you keep wow um fascinating fascinating um you know it's it's really tough to keep the guy on task it's really difficult to keep the guy on task um, yeah, pretty, pretty predictable. Um, simply for calling him a criminal. I wasn't even going to bring up his grandmother. I was going to refer to AJ Vega and, you know, he just can't handle it. Nope. Nope. Tanj, uh, you know, it seems your, your boyfriend there, he, he's not a real man. You know, it's, it's disappointing. Well, it's definitely war intensified if, if 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 this is how he's going to respond i yeah no i agree i agree and this is all very predictable because chance is who he is he is a thief he is a liar he is low iq and to expect more from him is ridiculous Friendship, yeah, correct. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I couldn't agree more with you. Very disappointing. Well, I guess I'll be playing uh, Chance's brand new start on good terms uh, in, in Cyrax's absence. And maybe I can respond to him this way. The only way I can respond is with him to shut the fuck up. And it just never happens. You know, he's incapable. He's a little child. It's pathetic. But you know, I will I will respond to his video here. And it's going to be a lot different than if he had complied and acted like a big boy. Just because he got the big boy steering wheel doesn't mean he's a big boy, unfortunately. What's up, y'all?
Um, it's yeah, boy, yeah, I know it is. Um, I do want to talk about something though, like for real, for real. Um, and I am gonna be mentioning a couple names that you know, do need to be brought up. <clears throat> and the first one being like Tange. This is your boyfriend here. How do you feel about his response? How do you feel about Cyrax's behavior and his representation with his appearance here tonight? Oh, you went live? All right. I mean, I'll, I'll check that out. I'll check that out for sure. Here, one second. You know, or rip or talk shit on him or anything like that. Like, I want to move on in my life. You know, and like I said, I went in there, I had a conversation with them. It might not have been a long conversation, but. You know, it was still a conversation, you know. <clears throat> I said my piece, and I said what I had to. Yeah, Sarah X, that, that's not a conversation. That's like gorilla sniping. It's what children do. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Um, I don't know if y'all cut it or not, but I was just on Marty's stream. Now, like I said, you know... Marty can do what he's going to do. Like I said, I'm walking away. I'm throwing my hands up and moving on with my life. I've got better things to do than to... No, not fuck Marty. Like, let the guy be. Let the guy go. You know, he's going to do what he's going to do. You know, what he does, that's his business. That's none of my business. Like, if he wants to sit there and still continue on, that's on him. You know, I did the right thing by coming forward and, you know, saying, hey, I'm done with this crap. I'm not dealing with it. Like, I'm not here to, you know or rip or talk shit on him or anything like that. Like, I want to move on with my life. You know? And like I said, I went in there, I had a conversation with them. It might not have been a long conversation. But... You know, it was still a conversation, you know. I said my piece, and I said what I had to. Now, like I said, I'm letting it go. Um, yeah, pretty childish. Um, I kind of have uh, – I'll be wishing death on Marty's family within 48 hours. Well, I mean, hope, that's the plan. That's, that's definitely the plan. Um, yeah, and Tange, I would definitely go over there and tell your, your boyfriend that you're disappointed in him. I mean, it makes you look bad. It makes you look like a jackass by proxy. I know a lot of y'all are going to come in here and attack me and say, oh, you didn't stay on there long enough. Yes, I did. That was not an adult conversation, Sir X. Hey, Jenny, what's up? Well, Trip, after what I heard about you, dude, and how you came at one of my friends personally, rudely, like, that's just, like, what the hell, dude? And then uh, the one thing I personally want to know, why did they y'all get mad over wrenches? Wait, like, dude, just because I take your wrench, that doesn't mean you're not part of the community. Everybody's part of the community here, bro. 
And that's the point I'm trying to make here. Like, you know, whether you have a wrench or don't have a wrench, a wrench is just a wrench. Like, And that's the thing, dude. I did apologize to him. Bert, go down, go there and watch the live stream back. Watch from the very beginning when I was on there. I did apologize to him. Like I said, you know, I'm, I did what the one thing that was hardest for me to do. <laughs> I manned up. I had a conversation with them. I mean, I would, I would disagree wholeheartedly. Um, here, give me just one second here. Um, okay. Um, one second. And I even went on there, and, and Jenny, you can even watch back at my last video, my last live stream. You can even watch back in my last live stream. And Marty, as I said, I'm not talking down on you. I'm not doing any of that. Like, I'm not here to do that, bro. Like, you say that I'm a criminal in some sense, but you have no evidence to back it up. Sir, I have all the evidence. I have all the evidence. AJ Vega, man. I mean, I was, I was believe me, Chad. I was dying to, uh, to, to ask him about that. Uh, and I think he, he may have sensed where I was going. I believe he thought that I was going to talk about his grandmother, which I wasn't, you know, uh, not yet anyways. And, uh, you know, I wasn't even able to address AJ Vega, but you, you can see how volatile he was, you know. He, there was no way he was going to stick around, unfortunately. You would have to be sedated. And the only evidence that you do have is from a freaking troll that likes to talk shit. Who? AJ Vega? But you, you, Marty, you associate with a legitimate known criminal. Somebody who has literally almost killed someone. Quite <laughs> literally. Like, you talk about me associating with criminals and that I'm a criminal. I am not a criminal. Of course you are. Like, you don't know the full story of what happened, so really, you got no room to talk, bro. Well, I don't even know what he's like, referring to. You know, I said what I had to say. I said my part. You know, and I didn't rage quit either. You definitely I did, sorry. You, you definitely that, did. Hey, after I say what I'm done saying, you know, I'm up and I'm leaving. And I did just that. I told you that I was throwing my hands up and walking away. And that's too bad, sorry, X. And that I am done with this fighting, essentially, dude. Like, like I said, you know, I can't control what you do. Okay. And I know, I know I can't control what you do. I get that. But like I said, at the end of the day, you do you, Marty. Well, I will, sir. Don't do worry. I will, do. buddy. All I know is that I'm done with the fighting. I'm done with the bullshit. What do you think, Cyrex? Like, I want a fresh start for myself. Like, I want a way better start for myself. And the only way I can do that is to dissociate myself, is to disassociate myself from you. Which is, like I said, what I'm doing. 
All right, everybody. Uh, check this out. Very, you know, here. There's going to be a link in the chat. Right, that's ultimately what I'm doing. Uh, what is I'm about. dissociating myself from. You know what you're doing. Like, and granted, yeah, you may not have attacked me. And I'll admit that you didn't attack me when we had our conversation. You know, and like I said, you know, and that's the thing with Marty. You know, he was trying to go off track. I was there for one thing and one thing only, to speak to him about what happened. Oh, Ace Bad, Ace, Ace Bad, Ace Bad, you should you should have done that. That's a little too too early, man. Okay, I was there to speak to him and apologize to him, and I did just that. You know, and if you want my honest opinion, I said what I needed to say. In that video. You know, because I have some pretty good energy going on in my life right now. I have some pretty damn good energy. What does he mean by uh, some pretty good energy going on right now? Ridiculous. Yeah, pretty uneventful. Going on right now. Then I don't want to mess up. You know, I got a lot of things that I'm looking forward to. Photography book dropping this week, but I also have my debut album, Shadowborn, dropped. So is he no longer talking about his, his, his book about... Kiriagi Station. You know, like literally, I got my fucking photography book dropping this week. Hell, I got not only my first freaking photography book dropping this week, but I also have my debut album, Shadowborn, dropping next month. Nobody cares. Like, you know, I'm done with the bullshit. <laughs> and yes, I did. I actually did, Triple A. I did admit my wrongdoings on that live stream. I admitted that what I did to him was wrong. I sat right there and admitted my wrongs to him and told him I apologized for it and explained why I did it. It doesn't need to go any further than that. I explained to him why I did what I did. You know, I apologized to him for it. And I told him, hey, from here on out, I'm letting it go. But there's not much else that
Yeah, my laptop died. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, pretty disappointing showing by Cyrax tonight, huh? Um. You're an asshole. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's saying he's about out, but um, I believe we've heard this before a while back. Maybe not to the extreme, but I mean, you know, I'm great. It's great he's doing what he's doing, but I, I don't know. I, I feel like that uh, his attention will something will bring him back to you. Um, I'll bring him back to you. Yeah, I mean, well, I was expecting Cyrax to be an adult for once, just for once in his life, and. <clears throat> Foolish. I almost feel like he made me look like a clown for believing in him. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, he was being pretty sad. I don't know. He was. I, I believe that Sally was sitting off to the side with like a gun pointed at him or something. Or maybe, you know, he had a couple of tranquilizers. But uh, yeah, it was still just, it wasn't as rambouty and as, as <clears throat> excuse me, rowdy and rambunctious as he usually is, but still couldn't, you know, he rage quit. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, uh, he's he got angry at that when he was a criminal. When he is, he just he simply oh, is. He life for him. Yeah, we. I, I said in chat literally as you were saying. Yeah, he uh, steals. He's you know he's been to jail. He's a known criminal. I mean, yeah. Well, you're grown ass man. I went on there and said what I needed to say. I spoke with you, explained myself, said what I needed to say. And then I let myself out. I showed myself the door and I let myself out. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. If you feel otherwise, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But as for me, I'm being the bigger person and walking sure, away. That's not being the bigger person, though. So, like, say, like saying your grievances um, unopposed, and then when you're challenged running away, it's being a child. Oh. I'm not mentioning you anymore. Oh, and this is a fresh start for me. Hmm. This is a fresh start for me, dude. This is a very fresh start for me, bro. <laughs> we'll see, sir. Straight up. We'll see about that. Like I said, Marty, I'm not mentioning you anymore. I'm not coming out of your throat. Who, who's going to blame for his failure? Um, well, clearly, clearly, I mean, you were before, I mean, yeah, you, I'm not going to have my people come after you. All right. So to anybody in the chat that's thinking about going after him, don't let it go. Let him do him. If he wants to sit there and continue to be childish and attack me, let him do it. I'm moving on and doing yeah. shit. I enjoy putting out content that I enjoy and that y'all enjoy for you guys. As I said, I kept true to my word. And now it's time for me to move on and make a better start for myself, starting with a piano cover show. Start with a piano <laughs> Sorry, what do you think it's going to solve? Cover show, please. You said peace, but he's still sitting there. Okay, all right. Um, I think I missed a good chunk of that. I apologize to him, and I. Um, yeah, I don't know. How do, how do you feel about all this schmeckle cap? Um, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm a bit torn. Um, I, I mean, it's great he wants it, but I, I don't. You know, it's not that really easy to walk away like that. I I don't think for anybody in that type of situation. But again, and I still. I don't want, you know, I was, I'm still going to hound him for that money. Uh, no matter how long it takes to get it, uh, uh, until I get it, I'm going to continue to hound him for it. Um, I, I just feel like you should keep promoting him, um, doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, if you love something, you got to let it go. And if, it, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll truly come back. I love it. Billy will be back, back coming back around. He's not thinking right right now. He's got a lot going on. Uh, like just keep a level head. Like what does he what does he have going on? Is his album coming out? The book coming out. He's got you know the lady. You know the having a, a woman in your life can be a bit troublesome. He's got the book, the album. Um, I'm sure he's got art to steal somewhere. Uh, he's an up and coming eraser. I mean, what the, come on, Marty? What doesn't he have going on? He's got so much going on. I mean, yeah, uh, I don't even know how. I, I, like he said, his fiance he doesn't have time. Be, his fiance from the chat seemed to be embarrassed by his showing today. 
I mean, why, why is that his fans? Why is that? Because they feel like he's just backing down and uh, no, like hanging fiance, himself like Chester his, Bennington? His, his fiance. Um, yeah. He, yeah, no, I, you know, when your better half represents you as he did tonight by just, you know, not taking any accountability, I would imagine that I would be very disappointed. Be time to move on. Maybe he can go out with Jenny. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't like Tangerine, no. I would be a bit upset as well. I would feel like, uh, you know, how could you, you know, robbers come to your house. He's just going to basically walk away and fucking let him take everything, not defend his, you know, defend the castle. I, I don't know. Yeah, no backbone. Seemed pretty weak, yeah. No integrity whatsoever. You know, I, I think he doesn't have a lot of time. He couldn't watch his brother right away in the hospital. Um, be, you know, he, maybe he doesn't have a lot of time. I mean, if he can't go visit Bill. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not going on back then, even probably even more now. Yeah. Um, you can't really whine too much about somebody's death when you live with your mom and your mom goes to the hospital every day. Yeah. Like you just tag along with her. There's no arduous process of getting there. It's, I know you've made 75 cents over the past decade, so you probably can't afford a bus ticket. Um, you have no excuse. And I'm sure at Bill's memorial service, they're like, would anyone like to say a couple words? And he came up there, Bill was my brother. I loved him. <laughs> this one goes out to you, Bill. And just started screaming in the fucking microphone. It's the way to use his, you know, get some of that music out there. Yeah, I, I, would, I would concur. It's, uh, it's a shame. I did just that. What a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love his uh, spooky laugh. That's my favorite. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. He's the great. Shadow demon laugh. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, he did some zip zipping around today. Uh, that was pretty interesting. Um, it's just disappointing that his offer can't be accepted because he. Is not being in it at all, you know? No, not at all. Uh, yeah. You know, and if you want my honest opinion, I said what I needed to say. Do you, yeah, yeah. Do, do you got any? You got any, Schmeckel? I'm sorry. I'm not even paying at the thing. What are well, we? Can we have some palate cleansing mumble wrap? Uh, I got, we got we could get a little. I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, of course. Uh, so yeah, we can get a little. Did he do any singing today? You said it was just zipping around. Uh, singing? No, 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 no. I'm sure um, I'll use this. You know, I walked away from Marty. This one, maybe, maybe you'll get a dedication, Marty. Maybe you'll get one. This one goes out to you, Marty. Well, so, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't either. I don't, think uh, I don't know, man. I, I, think I, don't know. I think I'll be back to yelling at you and hating you in no time soon. Oh, I was kind of disappointed today. I didn't see a stream for Alfonso. I figured that after what Alfonso had done to Bill, that uh, well, chance would have uh, you know stuck up for him. Let me tell you something about Alfonso. The guy's got a lot going on in his personal life. All right. No, well, Cyrax is what I'm saying. I mean, he needs the, you know, I, I can understand why he did what he did and he vented. He does have a lot going on. He's dealing with all these protesters and just the regular days of being a police officer. I can only imagine the stress, you know, the uh, police officers have a very high suicide rate. I'd rather him get on the internet and do a little rabble rousing than, you know, something crazy. I, I mean, I have known Alfonso for maybe two and, two and a half years or so, three years. Oh, wow. Yeah, he is, you know, I would hate for what he did to affect him in any way. Um, he's just recently got back his title as the chief, 
You know, he's got a loving family, and he just acted out of character. As you know, a lot of cops have egos. Um, you know, they, they really don't take a whole lot of guff. And, uh, he, he when I when I sent him the lazy bums video where Cyrix is calling them every name in the book, he did not respond well at all. He did not react. Can kind imagine of. not. Yeah, yeah. imagine so. Yeah, he was curious. You, you don't want to know what he was thinking about doing the Cyrix. Like Sending he got let off easy. Yeah, he got let off easy as far as I'm concerned. Uh, here, Tony. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a great one too. Uh, Yam Ranch has it all just queued up. Yeah, he's got like yeah, they got like a nice uh, got like a <laughs> they got a nice uh, long one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Greetings, Tony. <laughs> Tony, in your chat. Marty. Greetings, Tony. I think I'm banned in your chat. <laughs> yeah. What about the fact that you've got a little <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of are, Marty. Why is that? Uh, just because a lot of shit. Like what? You know. Oh, you know, just a lot of shit, you know Marty. You the baby? Because you're such a pathetic fag. You couldn't get any pussy. What, um, Marty? Yeah, I mean, Tony... Uh, you know, to say that we were never friends kind of hurt me a little bit. I thought we were friends. You well, know what I'm saying, man? It dug a little deep, Tony. Yeah. You know, well, if you guys, okay, all right. The reason why I said that, Marty, okay, if if you were like my really my friend, you you would have my back. But Tony, through this whole situation, there are okay? some things that are. Uh, I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying, okay? Well, well Tony, let me you ask would you. have my back no matter who I was back back then. I've changed. Uh, I'm I mean, Tony, we do, though. We do Tony. have your back. We want nothing more than for you to just clear your name, man, and we're trying to motivate you to do that. We're not here. We're not. I mean, it's, we, we are going maybe about a dick way of doing it, but it's the way it's just trying to say, okay, man, get your fucking name cleared out so no one can fuck with you anymore, you know? Uh, okay. And like I told you, Smackle can't. I'm going to do that when I find my hard drive. Okay? I said my piece. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I I can't find it. Oh, you uh, well, can, sure. can, you, can you guys hear me at all? Yeah, Tony, I can hear you. I can hear you, Tony. Oh, okay, all right. Let me ask you this. Say that, like, I <laughs> shot up uh, a senior citizen this summer. Like, would you have my back and defend me and say, like, the old people probably deserved it? No. I would tell people that, you know, go, Marty, I've known Marty for, like, you know, for a long time, and I know Marty was just, you know, BS and like he always does. You know? <laughs> yeah, this, shit, this got off in the fucking yeah, so, 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 home, doing what Marty does. <laughs> yeah, right, so, okay. Wait, um, hey, Hey, yeah. we all BS, Marty. Yeah, fuck. Smackle Cat BS is IBS. <laughs> Marty, bull, you know, we all bullshit, you know. <laughs> it's like my old teacher used to say, you can't bullshit a bullshitter, you know. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Um, okay, come so Tony. Say, the, say you're a friend. Do you know who Eric Harris or Dylan Klebold is? No, no. No, right. you know what happened in Littleton, Colorado, like at Columbine High School. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, so you're friends with Dylan Cleveland. <laughs> no, motherfucker, you. Yeah, would you would you defend him and be like, yeah, he was a good guy. He was just. No, no, no. Okay, so those guys were basically. Bullied to the point where they got sick of it, and and um, put the law into their own hands. You know. Well, well, what about the guy who shot up the Batman movie uh, a while back ago, Tony? You know, he was just going to the movies, just bullshitting like he does. They were out of popcorn. He was a little pissed. It's understandable. Batman. I didn't. I didn't hear that one. What happened? 
at the Dark Knight movie when the guy w- went into the Dark Knight movie and just shot up the movie theater. You know what I'm oh, about? that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I don't condone people shooting other people and murdering them. But, but Marty's just bullshitting though when he shot yeah. up the, uh, yeah. the old oh, folks. Well. Well, he does have your back. Goddamn, Marty. Well. He's just bullshitting. Yeah, I mean, there there are some things that are just unacceptable, you know. Right. Um. Well, you know, like like I said, Smackle Cat, I I'm 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 serious. I'm dead serious. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, but no, Smackle Cat, I I'm serious on this. You know, I I I will. I literally will. But, you know, it, it's like, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, like like you said before, you know, you're like, you were ups- you probably were upset with me that day when you said, always a pedophile, always a pedophile. And I'm like, no, that's not true. Because that, you know. I said, I said that, or who, who said that? Mackle Cat. I believe he was referring Mackle. to me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily day, Tony. agree with that. Tony, I mean, it seems to be one of the crimes, like the highest rates of recidivism, where like offenders generally are repeat offenders. You know, it's just what stats indicate. Well, anyways, um, Anyways, you guys, I'm I'm planning on going live in a few, so um, I'm gonna pop off and uh. Any and, uh, uh, any uh, yeah. discussion? Any, anything planned? No, no, just an open panel. Mm. So I'm gonna hop off, Marty. All right. Hey, Tony, right on. All right. All right. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Yep. Just BSing around. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, you shoot up a scene in an old folks' home. <laughs> <laughs> this <is> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> He's just goofing. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, hmm. yeah, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty underwhelming. But of course, that's what happens when anyone expects anything from Cyrax. Yeah. I'm interested to see where this goes. Well, I feel disrespected immensely. As you should. As you should. All right. Uh, yeah, I got some Cyrax driving around queued up. I don't think it's going to be uh, as long the stream. Probably like a you know half hour more. So. For sure. um, yeah, just it just hurts, you know. This. That's what I got for believing in them. I won't ever make that mistake again. I can assure you that. Yeah. Oh. I can- oh, sorry, Zach. Didn't mean to bring that up. I got to go in the Discord and get his uh, racing videos. You're a classless, tasteless, disturbed little freak. Was he talking to me or Pinhead? <laughs> this is Pinhead. Yeah, yeah. He hates Pinhead. Then he does. Sir X, I got a confession for you. I am Pinhead. I love you to death, bro. You know I fuck with your family and you, bro, but dude, you're a dick. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I guess he made a song creation session. I didn't see that. Um, oh, boy. See that's bad. Uh, I mean, you know how it's going to play out. It's, he's going to make a, a childlike beat. He's going to start trying to make gunshot sounds, and then it's just going to be unlistenable. Man, fuck you, what asshole. You fuck you, pussy. Well, what up, y'all? It's your boy. I don't say much. You're doing something all over there. Something I ain't done in a while. What you do? Music production. Dang. I'm pretty sure that works. But uh, I know it's I know it's Monday for a lot of y'all. I know a lot of y'all are just like, "Ugh, work." I get it. <laughs> Believe me, I get it. 
And then today we're going to be working on an instrumental. <clears throat> Yo, Trev, what up? Hey, doing good, man. All right, so let's just see how yeah, let's see what progress he's made in like yeah. <laughs> so far, he's got nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> Tell me, Aaron, just chill the fuck out, bro. You don't want the smoke from Devin, dog. And I'm telling you firsthand, you don't want it, nigga. No. Your dog watch. Like, you think you're hot shit, but really, you ain't. And I wasn't talking shit. I wasn't talking no shit, bro. So you can get the fuck out of here with that crap. You probably treat some little pussy. <laughs> For real, dog. Get the fuck out of here with your fake ass bullshit, dog. Get out of here, Nikki. Who has a bigger ego, him or Michael Cash, do you think? Like they both think they're oh, superstars, wow. you know? That's a great question. That's a great question. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I think Michael Cash probably believes he is more of a celebrity, and he probably agree. is. So I don't, th I don't think it would make him more delusional um, for having such a grandiose approach. Uh, but. Uh, you can also go into their hobbies and their mm -hmm. athletic conquests, like Michael Cash with his bowling and Cyrax with his racing. Um, well, to be fair, you know, Cyrax, bowled, Cyrax bowled as well, even though it wasn't real. It was just through the Wii. He did bowling. But he hated it. He hated every single second yeah, of it. That's true. I don't think we got many bowling streams from him that I remember. Maybe a, you know, maybe a handful, four or five. Um, and I don't believe he ever yeah. bowled the 300. Uh, as Michael Cash has done multiple times. Nor do I think I Cyrus think so. has ever been... Uh, I don't think Cyrex has ever been thrown out of a bowling alley as, as well. So... No. Oh, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> that's fair. But if Cyrex did live performances, if Cyrex did live performances, he probably would get thrown out at some point. Oh, yeah. I'm sure... I thought he got thrown out of the Applebee's for Rebel Rouse and the uh, staff, but I don't... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah, think yeah, he yeah, got yeah. kicked out of a bowling alley. Yeah, I don't know if everyone knows the story, but uh, Heather uh, took Cyrax out on a date to, to Applebee's, and Cyrax, uh, you know, I guess from the beginning, like, he felt the, the waitress was discriminating against them, and, like, and the, he felt that all the patrons were staring at him. And to be fair, they, they probably were. Like, let's, let's be honest. Like, Heather and Cyrax together, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. One, I'd definitely be looking at yeah. For one, if I owned a restaurant, I don't think I would allow – both of them in there uh, to eat because you would think it would ruin people's appetites. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and they, and they probably just want to get out of there. Um, but yeah, he felt like they were given uh, some poor treatment and, and they weren't on their best behavior. And uh, so Cyrax threw a fit. Like he, he started throwing, like, like I heard he threw a menu. Um, you know, he just wasn't having it. And, and he started calling them names and it was like a total disaster. Do you think that um, when they brought them to dinner, that they brought like the bill with it immediately there? Maybe like tried to convince them to get it to go or like a carry out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, they brought it out in like the styrofoam boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fucking to go containers and shit. Yeah. Brought like, the out immediately with it. You're like, you know what? You guys can have it now if you just, you know, it's on the house if you just take yeah. off. Um, exactly. You know, yeah, it's on the house. <laughs> uh. Would that potentially be discrimination against the disabled? I mean, um, I mean, what's his disability? What's what's the? Uh, I mean, aside from like his looks and his his anger, what, what's his? Uh, I mean, what's he what's he labeled as? Well, a goblin? I remember is he seen as like a goblin by the government, or I remember from yesterday when he was uh, talking to Zentrax Beans, he was mm -hmm. like, "You might think that I'm special needs to a certain extent. You you'd be right." Yeah. right. I do remember him saying that. I do remember him saying that. And I know that he was on disability in Florida, but he claims that for whatever reason didn't transfer. But I, I, I do believe that there's a chance that 
he it did transfer and Sally's just his payee. Yeah, it's like follow him. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's got to be the case, man. Why are there? There's no fucking way that she would put up with that for uh, for free. There's got to be some type of monetary uh, gain or just something for him. I mean, it's just got to be more than claiming them on its taxes. And does that even claim Sally or Ed even work? Do they claim tax? Can they like file taxes? Well, I remember. Um, have sorry, except for a brief period of time that like they work with like hotels or do some sort of like renovations, and that Heather would actually work for. Sally and Ed, but I don't know. Who know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, after their surgeries, they're both just like fucking decrepit old people. Like they can't, you know. Like I don't think they can do anything. I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, but maybe. Sure. I mean, I, I can't imagine anyone would pay money to live in that shack. It's a health, it's it's overrun by rats. There's money everywhere. It's just, you know, it's a health hazard. I would love to claim all three of them on my taxes. They're all fucking adult uh, dependents. <laughs> and Vadi, too. If his parents won't claim them, shit. Sure. Give me that sosh, buddy. Come on, doctor. Yeah. yeah Vadi says that he's uh, somehow rectified the situation. And uh, we'll see. I doubt it. Um, I, you know, I don't know if they were going to send him like a, uh, a check mm -hmm. or a, a debit card. But uh, I don't believe that he has it unless he takes a picture of his debit card and sends it to us. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, text time is coming up. Yeah. Um, yeah, very disappointing by Cyrex, you know. But, of course, that's, that's what happens when you expect anything from him. Yeah. He, uh, Morty, he moved, up, he moved on up in the attic, and uh, all the rats followed him upstairs. Yeah, man, it's unbelievable, man. Um. Okay, here's his little little driving shit. Oh, oh, song. Yeah. Um. I must be late on this one. I'm just gonna delete that. <clears throat> ah, now let's play this back. <laughs> I don't take a look at me. I had to even earn Devin's respect, man. I earned these respect. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Because he drives one way, doesn't make how I'm driving wrong. It doesn't necessarily make how he's driving wrong, dog. We all have our own style, man. Oh, okay. straight up, we all have our own style of racing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Trip, well, you know what you think about this instrumental, bro? Because you know I trust your judgment, man. Oh, 
up with your ass. I actually write the spits on them, I don't know that. Right? The arc is actually sounded really good with it. Oh, okay. yeah. Dude, I'm literally getting ideas flowing through my head for this. There's some st stuff occurring here. Uh, classic games. Uh, check your, uh, your your Instagram here. <laughs> I think you're going to be pretty tickled. Um, <laughs> as you all are. You know, we, we all hoped for resolution. We all hoped for a final agreement. And... It just never, never came to fruition, you know. Hopefully, tomorrow is another day. Um, let me put on this drifting for you guys. Um, yeah, sorry, my attention's might be diverted for a second here. Um, all right, let's get some zip, zip, zooming around for you. <laughs> Schmeckle, you're laughing. You're laughing. Uh, 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 Mr. Schmeckle's tickling me. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> Chance, who's Let me here? Let me, send <laughs> Let me send you one more. Um, that'll probably be all you need to hear. Slash C. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He brings all the worst to me, Trunkle Cat, you know? Yeah. He really does. Definitely. It seems that way. And they have the freaking driving line on the dude. I run manual with clutch on this. 
Anytime I go drifting, I always use manual with clutch. And I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to keep. Shit. No wonder I'm not doing that good. Because I'm sitting in the tomb for fucking winter. Oh, well, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, a lot of zip zip zooming around here. You see, he's just zooming and zipping. Sucks. Well, you know, it sucks. Uh, I can't. I'm going to type in the private chat here. Yeah, there's no way this car is going to last, man. Yeah, I got Oh, no. Nice. Oh, shit. No way. I know we do need to do a retune with the RX-7, but like I said, Papa Grizz, you're all talking, no action, bro. You duck shit every fucking time. Me, I don't duck shit. Every time someone wants to race me, you know, half the time I don't like doing it, I still step up. I'm not saying I don't enjoy racing, but bro, I guarantee you there's no way in hell you'd ever last against me, homeboy. No, that's, that's impeachable. Like I've done. I'm done asking the event. Alright, I'll continue to play the event. Fuck the motherfucker seven, bro. I'm taking my fair share of wins and my fair share of losses. So honestly, you got no right to talk at all. <laughs> Walk down by them, but we're good. Unicorn on a fucking mountain pass, like I'm able to do, man. I would love to see you try it. Come, you know, I would destroy Cyrax before he could destroy me. That's come on. Man. I mean, from what I've heard, island wives have a very low mortality rate. Oh my god, can't type. Jesus Christ. About the 360s, bitch. Here in a minute. Yo, big score, what a dog. <clears throat> right, breaking can be pretty hard on here if you don't know what you're doing. Nice, man. Chick fil is good, bro. Hell yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> I 
now. Ow. Man, now, Jake Glenn's got some good yeah, shit. Michael, uh, I'm going to have to uh, mute myself for a second. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right. Oh, boy. Fucking Chance and his goddamn just fantasies. I don't know what's going through this guy's head, man. I'll just get a little. We'll play everybody's favorites. I'm going for a fucking walk. Now it's too dang dark. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I know Prison Mike is fond of... uh. Prison Mike's fond of a. Uh... You want to fucking say that I'm a cop collar? Nah, bitch. I ain't a cop collar. Yeah, me and Heather called the cops on you. Yeah, me and Heather called the cops on you. And then, and then a second later, he changes his fucking thing. This uh, that that also reminds me of this one here. But Jessica, we all know you've never liked me from jump because of the fact I actually treat Heather right. I treat her with respect. I treat her like the person she deserves to be. Yeah, I've done some fucked up shady shit, but guess what? Yeah. I'm like you. I know how to make amends. Yeah, I know I how treat to correct her right. my shit. I fucking treat her right. I treat her like a princess. I treat her like a queen. Yeah, I know I did some fucked up shit, like blacked out and fucking choked her the fuck out. Yeah, but you know what? I know how to make amends, bitch. Like, come on, Cyrax. God damn, you, the, the guys, I don't know, 2020 is going to be his year, but set, just January by itself, the first half has just been a huge shit show for him. The bitch held me hostage, and I had no choice but to put my hands on her to get her the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, no worries, no worries. <laughs> It's too dark outside to a 30-year-old man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, I believe he was 29 at the time. So, come on, guys. Let's be yeah. fair. It's, and this is a new year. This is a new him. Any uh, further word from, from that woman and, uh, and the car accident? Well, you know what? No. You know what? Let, uh, let me actually check that, Marty. Uh, let me take a look. If not, maybe we'll, we'll say something like, hey, I just got my ass beat by this guy or something. You know, she said she was going to think get that character fucked up Gabe or whatever whoever she thought yeah I don't want I don't want I don't I don't want to ruin it again you know I just I don't yeah no exactly observe I don't to get, hey man what's up <sighs> I don't want to call her up <laughs> even from a different number I could maybe even pretend that I could just try this again from a completely different number and just see if we can uh you know get her again with a different thing yeah she seems very suggestible oh yeah definitely um, I don't think so. Let's uh, let's take a look here. It's loading up. Um, good old text now. Now that Joe Biden's in fucking office, he sold off the goddamn servers, and my net's running a bit slow now. So you can thank Joe Biden for that. If you guys' internet's been running slow lately, that or Matt Art, uh, in 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 uh, Marty's case, but yeah. um, let's see here. Um. You know what? Nothing new. She uh, she just left it alone. So, yeah. Yeah, I wish uh, I could figure out if she knew madness or not. But I, I would just love probably. picturing her running up and down her trailer park. Fucking, where are you at? I'm going to go to jail. I can't do this. Oh, so tempted yeah. just to call hit that button. Mm. So tempted. What are you doing tonight, um, Alicia? Mm. Yeah, she was a little uh, uh, wild one. Um, I really miss. Uh, what's the bitch's name? Who are we talking to? Marianne. I miss Marianne. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I miss her. Might try and reach out to her tomorrow. See if we can get her back. I mean, yeah, Marianne was definitely more of a lady than. Uh, Alicia there, yeah. Or Nicole, whatever the fuck her name is. Hmm. 
Oh no, I just got breaking news. Dun, dun, dun. It seems that Cyrax is no longer with Tangerine Cat. Whoa. Um, the Tangerine? Or, uh, how, hmm. how did that come about? I wonder. Was, I know he washed his hands of you. Is he doing the same with Tangerine, or is she washing her paws of him? Hmm. Um, I, I think, oh, I don't know. This is, this is breaking news, and I really don't have all the details. Right. Well, that's really unfortunate on Tangerine's behalf. I feel maybe for her. I don't really feel for Cyrax whatsoever because he's just a playboy and just yep. breaks them, you know, loves them and leaves them, whether they're pregnant or not. Um, but, uh, you know, sorry to hear that, Tangerine, but it, uh, it's probably for the better, girl. Uh, I honestly wouldn't sweat it. Definitely for the better for you. Uh, you don't need someone like that in your life. No. Uh, best wishes to you. You know, take your time. You'll find somebody better. I'm not sure where Tangerine is. I'm not. I'm sorry. I was lighting something up. But I'm not sure if Tangerine, where she's from or whatever. But there's a nice gentleman named Rich Life, who, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sure would be able to wine you and dine you and treat you better than Cyrax could. Um, I know he doesn't I've been or. Uh, his dead AIDS ridden brother's grave. So already right there, you know, you know, he has an income. He has plenty of chickens in the can. I'm not sure if you like chicken, but he will feed you. He will take care of you. He's got his own place. Um, yeah, and he has actual clout, which is something that Cyrax does not have. Very true. And he can drive. He's got a driver's licenses. I mean, and it's, I don't know. No really comparison. I mean, a young fellow I know named Caillou who would even be a better match for you. But he's not looking for love right now. He's got a lot going on. Um, but either way, you'll find someone. Take your time. Damn, I want to call this Nikolovich back. I'm like, hey, bitch, you want to party now? I just got out of jail. Yeah, come over. I'm going to fucking steal a car. I'll be on my way. All right. Yeah, um, I'm just waiting for a live to pop up or something. I'm really hoping, uh, like maybe Cyrix goes live again tonight. That'd be fucking absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like you know, he's got some splaining to do. I guess. I mean, I know he did a little live stream afterward, but I don't feel like it was a wholehearted one. Um, well. Yeah. But Disappointing. It is. Well, he's got his book well, to work okay. on. Next week. So. Yeah, that's true. A lot, a lot going on. A lot going on. Watch the foosball. Okay, today, so. Uh, today? Any football? Wasn't no, oh, this week. Uh, no, not in the playoffs. Playoffs, sir. Uh, Oh, I know they're in the playoffs, but I thought I saw something on today. Like the, instead of the regular news, maybe it was some Martin Luther King shit. I don't know. They were at like a. It wasn't the regular news. I thought it was like Fox Two Sports or some shit like that was doing a game or something today. I don't know. No, oh, you know what know. they did. You you know what they did launch this week though, Marty. Um, I'm I'm a little hesitant and reluctant to fucking get into, but they do have the. Uh, Fan duel and the fucking river bets, all the online gambling just hit here this week. So you get hundred free dollars in river fucking bets? credit when you sign up, one hundred and fifty in free credit. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. The catch is they have like an insanely high rollover. Where like I figured, in order to oh, yeah, I figured there was something. But uh, bet, yeah, like, it finally yeah. hit here. Don't even have to leave the house anymore. No, 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 no. That's great. How great is it? It's gonna. I don't. I don't want to find out. I'm a little scared to find out, man. I'm hopefully, I'll have a fucking house to bet from in like you know a couple months. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. No, I don't have that big of a problem. I don't. I'm not could, that you, bad. You could also have a, a whole brand new mansion to live in too. You no, know, definitely. I was. You know, I'm. Still, I'm not really <laughs> that bad, but yeah. I mean, it beats just having to take the fucking trip. And yeah, if I win, I can just roll it fucking over. You know, I don't have to. It'll yeah. Just, whoop, yeah. Yeah. Roll it over until we lose. Or until we just hit big. Uh, so we got a Cyrax team coming up here. Oh, nice. 
That's that, that, that is great. That, that is great news. Oh, God, the gods are shining on me. I hope Rich Life goes live. Yeah, um, yeah. show screen. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Thank you, bro. Go to bed and get some sleep, and we can talk tomorrow. Stop trying to justify your actions. Ask yourself, what? what? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy. So, some of you may have <laughs> noticed that. Um, what's up, guys? Some of you may have noticed that Tangerine Cat is no longer a mod on the show. And there's a very good reason as to why. See, she asked me to go on to Marty's panel, talk to him, and I did just that. Hmm. I went on there, I explained myself, and I apologized for literally the time, fifth fucking time. And she sat there and basically threw it. In my face. Matter of fact, let me read off the last message. Oh, wow. That she had sent. Let's see. Right here. Yet, yeah, when Marty brought up your past criminal record, you didn't like it. <laughs> Look, this tit for tat is juvenile. Go to bed and get some sleep and we can talk tomorrow. Stop trying to justify your actions. Ask yourself, what could I have done better? Like, that's not attacking me? How is that not attacking me? Like, bro, I apologized five different fucking times. Time. One, two, three, four. Five <laughs> different times in total. Three times in private chats between me and friends and me and Marty. And then twice on live streams. Including this last one. So, who's the real bad guy here, huh? Let's be honest. Now, I'm not trying to start beef with Marty or anything like that. I'm really not. But, Tangerine, something you gotta understand, you ain't always right about everything. You ain't always right. Your logic doesn't always fucking work in every situation. You have to look at it from the standpoint of certain people. You have to look at it from another person's point of view. You can't just look at it from one side of that. Oh, you could have done this better or you could have done that. You know, put <laughs> just fine this when you did this. No, it doesn't work like that. It don't work like that, see? Wait. You do that, you just make yourself look stupid. You really do. Damn. You make yourself look dumb as fuck when you do that. <clears throat> you know what you get when you assume shit? You make an ass <laughs> out of you and me. That's an age old <laughs> saying. Never assume shit. Never sit there and tell me to quit justifying my actions. My actions are actually very much justifiable. My actions are justifiable. Because mm. see, when this shit with Marty started, and this is something that no one really fucking seems to understand. When this shit first started, the day after Jamie's passing, I was doing a live stream. I was doing a memorial show for her. To show my condolences 
and you know, pay my respects. Well, some of the people, you know, some of the people that I'm getting friends with from Jamie's community started posting out videos and whatnot. After the stream, I decided to check them out. I started going down this rabbit hole of all these different people showing their thanks and paying tribute. And then I started coming across people like CPN, a.k.a. Child's Play Ninja, who were attacking her, bashing on her. So instead of going at their throats right off jump, I pulled guys like CPN and Simon and was like, yo, why the fuck are you doing this? <clears throat> like, let the woman rest in peace. What the fuck's going on? They started showing me all this evidence that Marty had something to do with her death because not only were they bashing on Jamie and her past, but and they weren't really bashing on her being dead. They were more or less bashing on her past, which... To a certain degree, is understandable. But they started showing me all this evidence that Marty had something to do with it. Now, my question to y'all is, how are you going to sit there and ignore video after video after video being shown to you by dozens and dozens of fucking people. Like, literally. There was literally videos on top of videos of them literally explaining shit. Literally explaining in full detail about how Marty had something to do with her death. They literally went into full detail with this shit. And it wasn't just, you know, one story here, there was a story here. No, they were all the exact same story. What is the story, though? I mean, I really don't now, understand that. You got to think in the mind of somebody that doesn't know what the real truth is. You got to think about, you got to think about it from the mindset of somebody that, that like, say, one of y'all did something and I didn't know the full story. I didn't know what was going on. Like, let's say I'm just a random stranger. Yeah, then, then the best thing is just to go uh, blindly accusing them of it. And I hear something from so many people. You're liable to believe it because you're being told this over and over and over by so many different people. And that's what I was being told was the same story in detail by different people from different perspectives. Now, when you hear that so many times, you're going to believe it. Here, I'll be right back. Like, one second. And I did. I tried explaining this to him, but he doesn't fucking get it. Like, he wants to sit there and justify what he did based on what I did. Marty, I'm not trying to come at you sideways, man, but you got to understand something. When you did what you did to me by going after Caitlyn, going after her family, blackmailing her, attacking me the way you did with fucking rope, and then telling me to kill myself, how is that justifiable? That is in no way justifiable. Like, what I did to you is nothing compared to what you did to me. And Tangerine, that's something I and I know you're watching. I'm pretty sure you're probably watching this. You need to grow the fuck up and realize that your logic that you got going through your head ain't always fucking working. 
that logic you have going on doesn't always work. You don't think I haven't tried to walk away? Ask any motherfucker up in here that actually knows me, that has seen me go from the small channel I was to now. Ask anybody in here that has followed me. I have tried to walk away. I have tried so many times to walk away. But when you get people like Marty that bash you in such horrific ways, such horrific ways that are unignorable, how are you going to let that slide? How is me saying that he killed Jamie and that I go back and apologize to him like a man? I go back to him and apologize to him like a man five different times. Out of my own free will, I go back to him. I apologize to him. That live stream that I did, no one told me to do that. I did that on my own accord. All the times I apologized to him, on my own accord. By my own doing. So how is what I did not justifiable? I was wrong. I admitted it. And I moved on from it. Marty is the one that you should be bitching at, not me. You want to bitch at someone, Tangerine? Bitch at Marty. What did I miss? The dude sent me fucking rope and told me to kill myself on a live stream. How is that justifiable by any means? How is sitting there blackmailing my ex Caitlin's family justifiable? How is him taking videos, private videos, mind you, and private photos and posting them on porn sites justifiable. How is attacking my family, more specifically my now past brother who has been deceased for many years, justifiable? What I did is nothing compared to what he has done to me. Hmm. As I said, I have tried apologizing to him. I tried walking away. Many times over, I tried to walk away. Many times I tried to walk away and be the bigger person and let it go. But what does he do? He turns around and does something way worse than before. Well, no, she wasn't a killer. That would be Kayvon, I believe. So how is that justifiable by any fucking means at all whatsoever. Hmm. So Tangerine, you say I'm too far gone? Bitch, you're the <laughs> one that's too far gone. <laughs> you don't know the whole goddamn story, and I hope now you do. And I hope you realize that you insulting me like that just cost us being together. Damn. I hope you're happy about that. Because that shit you did, I didn't deserve that. Hmm. I didn't deserve the way you fucking treated me. And the way you treated me just now on Discord, that showed me what kind of person you really fucking are. And let me tell you right now, I don't deserve that. Hmm. I deserve a hundred times better. I deserve way better. The way you treated me and disrespected me and came at me, I acted like an adult. You, however, did not. Mm. So say what you want. As I said, I hope you have a nice life without me. I really do. You know, yeah, I've been disrespected. I've been abused by exes before. I've gone through that whole shebang. But let me tell you, nobody's ever come at me the way that you came at me. As I said, I didn't deserve that. 
Sounds like she's another one of the abusive exes. Sometimes you need to put yourself in someone else's shoes and look at the situation from their point of view, from their aspect, from their stuff. Like, when you told me about your situation, I put myself in your shoes. I put myself in your position. Oh, no, it wasn't abuse, a Spaz. It wasn't abuse by any means. It was a very, very big level of disrespect that then you showed me how she really is. In those last few words that she sent to me, she showed her true colors. And I don't deserve that. I deserve way, way, way better than that. Yo, big score. What up, dude? Oh, yeah, I'm damn sure, dude. Hmm. And even if she was, even if she was trying to help me, she should have put herself in my shoes, in my position, and be like, hey, you know, I understand what you're going through. I get it. See, when somebody comes to me with a situation, and they aren't sure what to do, or they're telling me about something that's going on, I try to put myself in that person's shoes, in that person's position. And I ask myself, okay, what would I do in this person's situation? You know, what would I do if I were this person? She didn't do that. She just went off of, oh, I'm 36. I'm logical. I have a degree. Bitch, it don't fucking matter if you got a fucking degree in psychology. Psychology don't, having a degree in psychology don't mean a goddamn thing in the real world. All that means is that you know how, is that you know how certain people work. That's all that means. You know how certain people fucking work. That's all that is. I went on there. I apologize. Said what I had to say and a left. Oh, well, um, nothing. Yeah, so it's, wrong with that. it seems. I was not disrespectful. I don't know what that beeping is, man. It sounds fucking weird. I was not mean. I kept it um, I held a conversation with him. Granted, it may have been only like 10 minutes, but so fucking what? It was still a conversation nonetheless. Plain and simple. It was still a conversation. Like I said, I held up my end of the deal. I did what I said I was going to do. What the fuck? Man, one no, second. just the other day, and I'm pretty sure she didn't want to talk about. I figured y'all, you know, deserve to know the truth that Tangerine's father had passed away the other day, and I sent her my condolences, and I do apologize that you lost your dad. And for those of you that don't know, um, we weren't going to go public with it yet, but. The day of her dad's passing, or the day before her dad passed, like that morning, she wanted to, you know, 
keep us a secret until everything was done over with. So yeah, we were together. I will admit that we were together. And I understand why she didn't want to say anything just yet. Because she was dealing with a lot and she didn't want that stress. I get it. She didn't want the stress of everyone attacking her and bombarding her with 50 million questions and shut that. I get it. But to sit there and blatantly treat me the way that she treated me just a few minutes ago, that's uncalled for. Like I said, I deserve better than that. I didn't deserve the fucking hell that I walked into. Like, to sit there and tell me that I'm too far gone if I believe the gossip. Like, what? Like, do you hear how stupid that sounds? Matter of fact, let me play something back for y'all, man. And this video I'm about to show you guys, this describes Marty to the T. This describes a legit Marty to the fucking T. See if I can find it here. Hey, bro, there's nothing worse than a guilty ass person that can't handle their own girl. So they reflect the fucking internal battle that they got with the smell of their own shit onto somebody else or onto you and make you question if you're actually the perpetrator or the victim. My nigga, how you fuck up and cheat on someone and then say, you made me do this? I made you do what? I at no point held you prisoner, had you shackled up in chains against some fucking wall in the dungeon, and never did I fucking say, you're going to cheat on me and fuck him in the name of House Targaryen or face death by dragon fire. I ain't never say that fucking shit. You ain't shit. You know you ain't shit. But you can't accept that you ain't shit. So now you gotta go make somebody else feel like they ain't shit. Because you ain't shit. That's like me riding my bike down a big ass hill, shoving a stick into the spokes, and going flying off my bike 50 fucking feet into the air or some shit. And while I'm in the air, I'm like, I hate bitches. You why? What? Bitches ain't do shit to me. You just stupid. Then when I get angry and respond to you shitting on me, you hit me with the motherfucking remix, and now I'm the bad guy. What? You cheat on someone, say it's their fault, they call you a bitch or a fuckboy, and you get offended? Excuse the fuck out of me, my nigga. You feel that? We respond to your bullshit and you decide to go, Doc, this the motherfucking break, bitch. Wow, I'm really a bitch, though. You really gonna talk down to me? Wow, you fucked up, you disrespectful, you petty. Blah, say blah, whoop, the motherfucking whoop. Yeah, yeah. You did some shitty shit. You're shitty. You shat on me. Your shit stinks. Smell your shit. Smell your shit. Don't paint somebody else as the villain when they retaliate to the crimes that you committed against them, nigga. And if you really feel like you should be able to shit on anybody that you want to, any way that you want to, and not receive something in return, you're fucking full of yourself. Fuck out of here, nigga. Nonetheless, this shit's gonna happen, though. I'm the villain in somebody's story when I shouldn't be. You probably are, too, and you don't even know it, nigga. Fuck it. If you gotta be a villain, at least be fly. Just don't accept the blame that they give you. You ain't do shit. Don't apologize to someone who fucked you over for them fucking you over. Do you, do you have I want some dead ass shit, though, my nigga. Like, I'm, I'm sorry you stole my wallet, my nigga. Like, for real, like, like, I really, I, I don't know. 
really shouldn't have left my wallet there, Pete. Knowing that you still dealing with your condition, y'all be robbing niggas' itis. That was real insensitive to me, my nigga. It won't happen again. Don't keep the money, keep the wallet, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? It won't happen again. I'm sorry. I'm insensitive, my nigga. I'm insensitive. Fuck out of here, nigga. Shitty people are shitty people. And sometimes they can't handle the smell of their own aroma. Fuck it. Fuck out of here, nigga. I don't know what to get out of that. Oh man, man, he's right. I don't know what to make of all that. So it seems. I mean, he is dead ass right, though. Like, for real. Like, straight up. Like, how are you going to sit there? And attack me after I apologize to you, and then you get pissed at me for defending myself against your attack, which was way worse than what I ever did to you. It don't make no damn sense. Point being, Marty's gonna do what he's gonna do at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 What is this? What is going on here? What, what in the world is going on here? Why do we get the feeling that was Marty? What is he accusing me of now? Wow. Nice try, Marty. I've been live streaming the entire time. Nice troll, bitch. You roll, you roll. Wow. So, after I just got done apologizing this morning, guess what this whole punk ass went and did? Sat there and had somebody come to my motherfucking house looking for a fucking PS5. Nice try, Marty. Bro, I don't even own a PS5, nigga. I don't want a fucking Xbox. Actually, to be more specific, I own an Xbox One X. But that's besides the point. I don't have a PS5, dude. Like, like I said, do what you do. Do what you fucking do, man. You want to sit there and be a fuck boy and do this dumb shit and continue to be childish? That's on you, dude. I, I mean, I don't... on you. I have no idea what he's talking about. I have no idea what he's talking about. I'm not sure if they were coming by for a big boy steering wheel and a PS5. I just don't know. Well, like I said, I got a show to get ready for, to do for you guys. So, I will catch you guys in just a little bit, man. Peace. Yes, please, please, please don't interrupt his next show because that would be, you know, a, a disaster. You can't have this stuff going on all the time. You just can't have this stuff going on all the time. You know, you can't be interrupting his passions his artistic endeavors, like whoever's doing this, just drop it. Not cool at all. Like whoever whoever did this really has some soul searching to do here. 
Well, uh, perhaps, perhaps. I mean, he's probably going to call the police, and rightfully so, you know. Um, just seems like the logical thing to do. Um, I, I don't think they really seem to like him a whole lot over there, so they don't seem to respond very well to his requests. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was. I think I'm going to do a little bit of investigation and uh, maybe might do a story on that tomorrow because uh, this definitely seems pretty odd and peculiar. Um, it's probably that pinhead guy. Fuck pinhead. For, de for defending myself against your attack, which was way worse than what I ever did to you. It don't make no damn sense. Point being. Marty's gonna do what he's gonna do at the end of the day. Yeah. Wow. Nice try, Marty. Nice troll, bitch. I mean, I was here live streaming the entire time, right? I. When does he expect that I did this? It would be impossible. You really, you really. Wow. So, after I just got done apologizing in the morning, guess what this little punk ass went and did? Sat there and had someone come to my motherfucking house looking for a fucking PS5. Nice try, Marty. But can how it? Sad, Roger. Oh, bitch.